Blowing your chips in a game of roulette is exciting, even if it lands on syphilis. <laughs> Frankenstein, or how I made my creation and the story of its parts. It is a very large piece. Uh, I believe there are 34 performers tonight, uh, which is really a lot for the dressing room upstairs. The show came from, I've been wanting to do something with Cornwall for a long time now, and uh, I love his music, and so we talked about doing this, and then he was like, if you book a date, I'll do it. It happened like that, in like a month. Ooh. For a while, we've worked together. As a charlatan, I said, hey, why don't you guys do a ballet to my new album? <laughs> I felt like a dick asking. She said, all right, you gotta have a story. I'm not good at that. So I came up with a story, it was terrible. And then David Sloan came up with a story, and it was brilliant. They had come up with some reason that it was a coherent piece, and they asked me to come in and help create a story with them. David Sloan came up with, with a brilliant storyline about using the first song, which is about Frankenstein, and then making the whole thing about Frankenstein's different parts, the loves that were involved with uh, each person before they passed away. song the night before rehearsal that I wanted to work on and I would listen to this song with David and then we would talk about story ideas and we would hash it back and forth with Cornmo and then then we'd come up with a basic like arc and then I would choreograph it and then I'd teach it the next day and the dancers would learn it and then we would move on. Uh, if you had told me this a month ago that it would be in this kind of shape I would be shocked. Today was not a stressful day Usually the day before opening something this size is madness and Angela and I bickering at one another like a middle-aged couple, which I'm middle-aged, she's not, and we're not a couple, but we still do that on show days, and today, not at all. It's really fun because David and I have a great, we have a great creative relationship, and we haven't written anything together like this since um, Nutcracker. We really get loose and we throw out all kinds of ideas and then we have a lot of respect for each other so we're not afraid to like make crazy suggestions and then it gets narrowed down and then it turns into like the stories that happen on the stage tonight. It's great to have this many dancers, so it's not people constantly having to do incredibly quick changes, and when there are big numbers, they are big numbers. Because this is a pretty big stage. Uh, it's not a big stage to have 34 people on. Uh, no stage except maybe the Met is really a big stage to have 34 people on. This is sort of like an expensive uh, workshop, where people pay $25 to see us do it for the first time. I get to play Dr. Frankenstein, one of my dream roles. Awesome. We were looking for Dr. Frankenstein. Zen was doing my makeup for the photo shoot, and by the end, I whispered to Angela, why don't we ask Zen to be Dr. Frankenstein? It seems kind of perfect. Is that how it happened? Yeah. <laughs> she said, I was thinking the same thing. Oh, so. cool. Yeah, I'm super excited. I'm really excited. I can't wait to do it with the band. I can't wait to do it for real, because when we're in rehearsal, I'm on and off the stage, and I'm in and out of character, and. So I'm excited to do it for real. I was kind of torn about it actually because I really wanted to dance in it because it's so fun and feels so beautiful, but watching it is so rewarding. So I get to do both, which is great. 
The show first found its roots when I did P90X. Oh my Angela God. wanted a way to showcase my abs. We're hoping that this will be the next Tony and Tina's wedding. It smells like girls in gasoline. I see this show has a great future. I think it could be a big off-Broadway hit, frankly. We would like to do this again. Uh, we're going to have to fine-tune it a bit. If I had my druthers, <laughs> this would be an every-night thing. Nobody sees 